keeping players playing. Not just actual player history, but also character history. Yeah, so yeah. let's right. talk about, at EVO, this man said that Red Hood was the counterpick to Catwoman. But who like the, the hard counter. Right, the hard counter. That is Sonic Fox's hard read at EVO. But who eliminated Sonic Fox at EVO? Man, I feel like it was a... Uh a Catwoman player? It was a Catwoman player by the name of Samish. Oh, it was Samish. Now, oh. that was the end of Sonic at EVO. Of course, Correct. everybody expected Sonic to win EVO. It didn't happen. Did it just did not work out. But the next time that we saw those two play, they actually mirrored Catwoman match. And Sonic yeah, Fox It was defeated. really weird. Extremely weird. But, yeah. of course, that is generally how Sonic Fox matches end up playing out. Super weird. <laughs> Extremely yeah, weird. And wrong. then next time we saw them play, he chose Captain Cold. And it which was not even... It was, it was just a complete shutout. It honestly was. And uh, uh, since then... Um, Against any Catwoman, including we've seen Star Charger, Sonic Fox has just dominated the matchup 100% with Captain Cold. I mean, it, it's it's very rough. It's it's a, it's not a matchup that you want to find yourself in, especially if you're a character loyalist. So, you know, other options had to be opened up to Samij. Like, he has to have something else that he's going to do. Otherwise, it's just going to be a Captain Cold destruction of, of Catwoman. Right, which is the instigator to the exact situation that we heard our analysts talking about earlier right. where it may be a Starfire counterpick to counter the Captain Cold but then there might be a Red Hood to counter the Starfire and we have And that's no just the layer of the mix-up, right? It's like you know that I know that you're going to pick this character and it, even then you would normally you would opt for like a double blind pick or something like that, right? But I don't think these two players are going to do it. Sonic Fox, like I said he's, he's probably just going to go Red Hood for the first match at least. I could very easily see it. I mean, Red Hood, or not Red Hood, Star Sonic Fox. I'm thinking about all these characters. There's Star so Fire many. Storm? <laughs> Star Fire Storm. Uh, <laughs> there are so many characters in this equation that is literally confusing because we have seen in tournament from Sonic Fox, what, Red Hood, Deadshot very recently. We saw Black Adam at the beginning of the game. We've seen Joker. Cold, yeah. We've seen Cold. There's, We've seen uh, uh, it's Black a plethora, Canary. Yeah. We've seen... Uh, there's just far too many. And that is why... I, I mean, that's why he's such a threat to so many of these players, especially, like you were saying. As he, you've said, it was a, it's a carousel of characters. <laughs> it's a literal carousel <laughs> yeah. of characters. It, maybe he's got a dartboard at home with all the characters on. It's behind. It's backstage right now. He just throws a dart and just... Whatever it lands on, he's like, I'm going to use that. And uh, he... We'll see who he ends up using, but Samij is really in that situation where he is easily good enough to stand up against Sonic Fox, but he's got to deal with the character match. I think the most important thing to note here about Samij is that he is 100% in the driver's seat. Like, he, his fate is in his hands. He can either win this match against Fox, which is no easy task, and, and propel himself to the grand finals where he would really solidify his chance to win this tournament, or... If he loses, he has to go down and face Hayate. But like we said, he's in the winner's final, so he's in the driver's seat. That is true. He's the master of his own fate. Oh, the Catwoman cosplayer with Samij, the only appropriate way to send him up on stage. Uh, Shoutouts to we have we have actually quite a few good cosplayers out here. Shoutouts to all of them for coming out. We do. There's some amazing ones out there. I saw Black Canary, Joker, Catwoman. Actually, I think it might have been two Catwomen. I think it was, yeah, two separate Catwomen. Well, maybe that'll give Samij the extra power that he needs <laughs> yeah. for this matchup. But will he will he perhaps betray them? I, the I don't. That's true because, you know, we, we've been having all this talk. And the interesting thing is, is Starfire didn't come out once in this tournament. Right. And so far. As a little bit of backstory. So every character in the game that gets released as DLC is essentially uh, not allowed in competitive play right. for one month. 30 so that, days. That gives every... Oh, yeah, that's true. It's exactly 30 days. So it gives all the competitive players time to try to learn these matchups. It doesn't throw them right in before a tournament, which we've right. seen before. And uh, we actually reached the end of those 30 days, like... Today. Or like two days ago or something like that. But essentially, uh, there was nothing. It, it, like, this is the only... What I meant right. is, like, this yeah, is the yeah. only <laughs> event that it would be legal in, right? Exactly. The first so, event is the IPS Grand Finals. Right. And what a time to potentially bring out a character like that in winner's finals against the most dominant NRS player in history, who is also currently the most dominant player in Injustice 2. But yep. we'll see if he, uh, if he ends up doing that. Again, strongest Catwoman in the world, almost without argument. Yeah. And... It's so rough because Sonic Fox, he's such a confident player, right? And he can literally, I mean, 
he can literally sit there and laugh, knowing that he knows who he's going to choose. And Samich has to think about all of this that we were just talking about. <laughs> it's all going through his head. There is so much money on the line. Of course, first place does get $120,000. $120,000. That is, um, man, that's just a lot of money. Right. Like, there's, there's no jokes or anything. I, I got nothing. It's just one hundred twenty grand. Right. Of course, Sonic Fox has made over $300,000 from uh, NRS winnings alone. And if he wins but this, that's... That's a huge chunk of that. Yeah, that's I mean, quite a bit. I mean, that that's over, you know, like three, four years, right? Right. He would win like a good third of that almost in just one sitting. <laughs> and that's here. But let's talk about Smeej and just his history uh, in in the NRS community in general. I feel like in the analysts were, were totally right when they said this. Towards the end of the game of MKX, uh, when we had all those tournaments, Samij was really coming into being a top five player just overall. Absolutely. I mean, the end of Mortal Kombat... And now he's a top five player here, which, again, the analysts also uh, were very much correct about. Right, and he's a player who he did use Molina in Mortal Kombat X. This game, of course, uses Catwoman. He's very good at just uh, basically a fundamental play style that's very slippery. And uh, especially characters like those that do very high damage. So he'll he'll just play very slippery, very good neutral. Right. He'll wait for you to mess up once, you know, either with his uh, smaller hitbox characters, or he'll slip out, or he'll catch you with one really good jump, and he will just do so much damage, take you to the corner. He very often goes for the safe options. We've seen him especially yes. today. Yeah, uh, he's the, not like a huge risk type player. Right. He uh, he just goes for something safe, goes for pressure, waits for you to mess up. Today we've seen him do so many knockdowns in the corner, and then he does jump back whip. Now that's a very, very safe option. It stuffs wake ups. It gets him guaranteed pressure if they block it. Is and if they smiling? try to squeeze out, oh my it gets God, him a full is. combo. Whoa, he I've is. I've never seen emotion expressed out of that man. That's true, but I mean, you gotta be happy when you're sitting up there getting ready to play for so much money after all of this. I mean, it isn't even about the money. You look at these players, they've traveled to so many different Injustice Pro Series right. events. I mean, we had Combo Breaker, CEO, Defend the North, ECT, all these tournaments. I mean, I literally can't list them all. And these players made it to almost every single one. They went out there, they competed so that they could prove themselves as one of the top 16 players in the world for this game. Right, and it's a huge sacrifice because uh, a lot of these a lot of these guys, in fact, most are, are sponsored, sure, but many of them also still either work full-time jobs or go to school. Uh, I, I know uh, Fox told me, actually, Dom was like, yeah, I'm actually leaving like right after this because I have class, I think, tomorrow morning. <laughs> so a lot of these guys are, are, are making huge sacrifices to be here. They're making huge sacrifices to make sure that all of their time invested goes into making them the best possible players they can and winning and this is what it's all about. This is what it's always, always been about. Not so much winning all the monies, but just proving that you are what you're worth and you're as good as you have said or tried to become. Absolutely. These players have been playing before there was even really any monetary reward. I mean, the I mean, monies is nice. Oh, of Don't course. get me wrong. I Making mean, you know hundreds of thousands of dollars is great. Like That's what everyone wants to aspire to, to in order to do this for a living. But... The, at the core, it was always about being the best and proving who was the best. Right, and that remains. When you think about these matches, for these players, they're not going to think about, oh, look at how much money I lost. They're going to think about, I could have been up there. Right, I could have been better. Been exactly. the champion. I could have taken home that trophy. And uh, that's really what's going to either haunt them or looking back and realizing that I'm the one that did it. And I proved myself. I was at the top of the pack. That's going to be what they think about over the next rest of their life, really. Uh, at least not for for a very long time. And, and then you look at the players who, who don't make it, who are right on the cusp, who get like ninth place, and then you see them bounce back and even do better. And that's where the really experienced, the top level players are because they take those losses, those experiences, instead of making it just purely negative and being like, damn it, like I, 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 I should have won, I didn't, now I'm done. They're like, no, what did I do wrong? How do I improve on that? And where do I go from here? And what do I have to do in order to be better than I know I can be? That's true. It's a very tough path, but they've made it. And right now, I want to talk. Oh, it looks like they may be getting ready to get started. And here is what's so much more right, exciting. All right, so it is. Like I said, Red Hood coming out and Catwoman. So this will be the character rematch of EVO Top 8. And we are going to have winner's finals. Samij against Sonic Fox. I always knew you were trouble. I'm going to do what Bruce won't. Not today, Meathead. Begin. Ah, Meathead. <laughs> Steve said it's like a meat locker. It's a perfect reference. 
All right, now Sonic Fox, the only Echo Fox player left in the tournament. Samini is the only player representing Noble left in the tournament, so they both have a lot more to fight for. And already we're seeing some incredible pressure from Sonic Fox, taking Samij all the way to the corner, but of course, the very famous Samij side switch combo is going to give him that corner advantage. That's fantastic because he needs to keep Fox here if he wants any chance of maintaining control as Fox is not afraid to lunge as we're seeing it now. Sonic Fox playing a little bit more defensively now, but as soon as he rushes in, he gets checked by Samij, and now the corner pressure begins. Wow, stuffs the oh, back wow. three! And he tried to use the plus, plus frames to get even more pressure, but it didn't work. Armor back three did get broken. Oh, gets hit by the Rekus. Tried to press buttons. Oh, and using the Catwoman-like back three against her, including comboing into a mine. Yeah, Huge lead by Sonic Fox so far. That was beautiful. Gave her a taste of her own medicine. Yeah. For more pressure here, Sumis needs to get this life bar out of the way. And still living on a pixel. We saw this earlier with Gross and Hayate. Oh, nice whip punish on the back three. He says, you know what? I play Catwoman. I know how to deal with that, too. And Sumiz uses back two so much. It's such a strong button, but that is it. First round is going to go to Sonic Fox. So finally getting another chance to prove what he said, that Red Hood is the answer to Catwoman. And so far, he's done relatively well. Of course, this is a different patch where Catwoman is uh, considerably weaker than she was. She's still Red obviously Hood. one of the best characters in the right. game, but it is a different matchup than they had to play at EVO. And, and this is what everyone has been waiting for. Are we finally going to see Starfire at the IPS Grand Finals, or will he go back to Catwoman? Starfire. And oh. there it is! So for the first time in an IPS tournament, we are seeing Starfire. Just after she was finally made legal, we are going to see her competitively. You remind me of Dick Grayson. I don't think so, Corey. It is all in the way that you fight. Begin. Here we go, going in on Arkham Asylum. There is a background bounce. Both of these characters can use that extremely well. Starting off with actually pressure from Starfire. Now, Starfire is one of the best owners in the entire she game. She is, absolutely. But her up-close game is very good. It's not the usual up-close game you usually see from characters. It's very unique, but it's got a lot of strengths. And she also has some of, if not the best jumping attack in the game. Multiple of them, yeah. actually. All right, and here we go. This is exactly what Samij wants to do with Starfire. He wants to get this full screen distance. He wants to be able to use the multiple zoning tools that Starfire has at her disposal, as well as abusing trait, uh, canceling two and ones into those specials. Right, and so, oh, Sonic Fox finally getting in. Is he going to take advantage of it? Nice block on the low and good back dash, but not able to whip punish it. So far, this is looking like a much more even matchup than we saw it with Catwoman, where Samij was severely behind. And there it is! First life bar goes to Samij. Now this has been 100% in control of Samij as soon as it gets to this full screen range. If Sonic Fox can get in and stay in, it will stay in his control. Which is how he took that first life bar, almost the entire first life bar, very quickly. That is safe. The hair flip is safe with its meter burn out. And it is actually her best wake up, but it is unsafe without meter. So that is to note. Oh, it's out of the corner. Now, Starfire's corner pressure isn't infamously good, so I do appreciate the fact that Samiz is choosing to walk back, create more space, and use his zone. Starfire also has a lot of interesting, kind of like, vortexes on knockdown, specifically because she can change the angle at which her jump three goes. That is true. Her mix-ups are very good, especially on open. Oh, flips out. Not able to get a punish, and that oh, should be that, a punish. Yeah, that should be a punish, and it is. Very low life now. Meter advantage in Samiz's favor. And he still has availability to clash. And that's going to be the life bar. It. That is so much damage. What an amazing check. The leap into meter burn. It does a lot of chip. It's essentially a, a quick overhead. It's a relatively quick overhead. Does a lot of chip. Uh, does a lot of damage, obviously. We just yeah. saw that do about 20%. And uh, it's just good for closing out. Good for checking. That's really, I think, one of the main reasons why Sonic Fox chooses that character. We see him close yeah, out this so is, many matches. And this is so tough. What do you what do you do as Samish? 
Do you stick with Starfire? Do you lock yourself in with a character which he himself has stated he's not quite sure if she's ready yet to face any other matchups? Uh, I mean, I'm assuming he was just hoping to pick her against Captain Cold, but now he's facing her against Red Hood, and not only just Red Hood, but the best Red Hood, that being Sonic Fox. Like, Or do you go back to Catwoman? Well, I think that the big fear here is that no matter what, Catwoman. he's locking himself in, and so he has locked city. himself into Catwoman which I think is a great idea. I'll explain why in a second. But the big fear is that even if he wins, he has we're to go probably going to Captain see Captain Cold. Cold. Yeah, which is a nightmare. Heroes don't let people suffer. Unless those people deserve to suffer. I'll tell Batman you said that. Begin. Oh, Jason. Right. Always the violent one. Down 0-2. Samij needs to win three straight, but we did see him win three straight earlier in the tournament. He was down 2-0, made the entire comeback against Hayati. Background bounce, yep. And, oh, goes for the setup instead of finishing the combo for damage. Nice blocks. All right, this throw is going to give a nice knockdown, but good backdash, knowing that it's very... You have to make a very hard read to be able to catch that. Oh, dodge the that back was amazing. three into a full punish. Beautiful tech by Samiz. Not something we've seen happen before. Okay, good patience to block there. Does get tagged, though. Now Sonic Fox is going in. Backdash to get out. Another nice whip punish. And there again, that check just does a lot of chip. Gets him a little bit of space for free. Oh, he goes for the down two. Actually tried to anti-air Samiz, but he... Found his way to slip in, but still taken out. Smeech desperately needs to take his life bar as soon as possible. Yeah, we've seen the power of a magic pixel very recently, and there we go. We're not going to have it right there. It's going to be one full life bar per person. And Smeech has already made quite a comeback this game. I mean, he was down about 80% life. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Finally, that setup's working. Uh, last time he tried, the 3-2 from Red Hood actually stuffed it. Oh, the delayed wake-up, but it's a good choice to throw. Still, the throw didn't go the right direction. If Samij had thrown Sonic Fox in the corner, this would be a much more advantageous situation. We got the cross-up, but he wasn't able to finish the combo, and that wake-up so good. One. Oh, and he pulls it up immediately. I don't think Samij was expecting that. That is the ultimate trick. Normally, you throw out the delayed mine just like that, and then you do something afterwards. So right. Samij was immediately trying to walk away from the mine, but it was meter burn, so it just blew up. Oh, he caught him, but no, con no confirm. And a clash one bar. I'm standing my ground. He's getting, he's getting at fifty percent if he wants to, and he does. He wants to have as much life as possible. Look at the patience, goes for the whip trip. Clash, oh. but no, he's not going to get a chance. Samij is going to take a game. So, again, sticking with his guns has worked out for him so far. But this what? is the problem, Evan. It certainly is. We've seen Sonic Fox choose Captain Cold only a single time today, and that was against Hayate, but that was dominant. Begin. And now we'll see if he can repeat it. Now, Samij has obviously labbed against this matchup. There are definitely things that Catwoman can do. She has some answers, but just like any other matchup where somebody doesn't have a great projectile, if he gets that level 2 trait with Captain Cold, what are you going to do? And honestly, he hasn't even gotten to level... He barely got to level 1, and he's already got a 50% life lead. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This. this is the problem. This is where this matchup is just really, really hard. Oh, oh wait! It's in! Good conversion! This, this is where the matchup changes from being really hard to really good! And now look at no trade at all for Sonic Fox, but manages to open up Catwoman anyway. It is incredible how Sonic Fox uses these normals from Captain Cold. He actually has some of the weaker normals in the game, but Sonic Fox just has such a solid grasp of just footsies and spacing that he's able to make it work. I mean, his main footsies normal is a 12 frame, not too far advancing mid. Now, when you have characters like Superman who have eight frame mids that advance even further, right. uh, seeing somebody use a tool like Superman, that is incredible. Black Adam. Yeah. I mean, there's so many characters that have really Cat great... Catwoman even. Yeah. But Sonic Fox is a master of his craft. Oh, and he's going to get maybe a guaranteed freeze. No, will not. Okay, Before back, did it, I should get out. And this is still going to be a tough situation. 
Not oh wow, just hiding behind it. He was waiting for the jump. Now Sami just taking a lot of damage, just sitting in the orb. He will oh no, he's gonna get frozen. Yeah. And there it is, another one. Level two snow globes out. Push blocks, but even still, Sonic Fox is cutting off the screen so that he's stuck in the orb. Nice oh. tech. In the midst of all of that, that was a beautiful tech. It was all oh, very nice tech, but the fact that it was in the orb made it not combo. I'm so close. Sonic Fox is so close to going into grand finals. All right, just a little bit more life, but Samij can lock Cold in the corner. Oh, that's a good start. Cold does not have the best defensive options. He's got a good wake up, but it's very baitable. Oh, he gets oh. over! And a clash! You know, the two of us could be... A pleasure you'll never have. <laughs> oh, you know, we know what's on Mars line, huh? Oh, oh, there's not enough damage! And there it is! Sonic Fox advances in the winner's side to the Grand Finals of the IPS Grand Finals. Exactly the problem that we predicted for Samij. He locked his 